Hey tennis friends, I'm here in front of the historic Palace Theater in downtown Grapevine, Texas, home of the Texas Tennis Open. Today is semi-final day, which means there's only one court of action going on. And that's why I always encourage you that when you come to these events, if you want to see more tennis, you need to show up for the earlier rounds so you can see a lot more players and a lot more tennis. But today is semi-final action out on the courts at the Hilton DFW Lakes Resort. So let's get out there and check out the action. In this first semi-final of the inaugural Texas Tennis Open, now serving in the far court is Irina Camilia Begu from Romania, and receiving in the near court is Sabine Lisicki from Germany. Now Sabine Lisicki will serve from the near court. After a changeover, Irina Camilia Begu will now serve from the near court. I'm here right now with the winner of that match, Sabine Lisicki. Sabine, that was kind of a decisive match, 6-0, 6-1. <laughs> Yeah, I think I played very well, um, you know, went out there um, really focused and took control of the match and, you know, I wanted to play well and um, that's what I did, so I'm very pleased. Well, I need to ask you that you won the first set 6-0, but then you called your trainer over. Why call it, or not, I'm sorry, not your trainer, your coach over. You're, you're dominating out there 6-0. Why did you call your coach over? Oh, you know, it's always a um, couple of little things you want to fine tune and get better at and, um, you know, sometimes your coach sees different things from outside, so I, I wanted to make sure I keep going, and um, there obviously wasn't a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good decisive match. How are you feeling? Uh, you've, you've pretty much steamrolled over everyone. You've only lost, I think, seven games in uh, four matches, so are you feeling that you can go out in the heat? Because tomorrow it's at noon, so it's going to be a lot hotter out there. Yeah, you know, but it's going to be the same for both players. So, um, you know, you just have to go out there and fight and uh, try to play your best and, um, you know, want to get better with each match. So, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to another final. While Sabine looks forward to the final, let's see who her opponent will be. In this second semifinal, now serving in the near court is Aravan Rezaei from France. Receiving in the far court is Angelique Kerber from Germany. Now Angelique Kerber to serve from the far court. I'm here right now with the winner of that match and the second finalist for the event, Aravan Razai. Aravan, that was uh, three sets and two hours long. That's a tough match to play out there in this heat. Yeah, it was a pretty hard, uh, pretty hard match and uh, to play on the heat like this, it, it's uh, very difficult, but you know, at the end I won, so I'm very happy. Well, you know, uh, you start off this uh, tournament as a qualifier. You had to make your way into the main draw. You got all the way to the finals, and you're playing really good tennis. What does that mean for your career right now? I think it's very important for me to to go through the qualification and be able to be in the final. It's uh, it's important for me in my tennis career, and that proved me that I can be on the top, uh, even if I have been I had a very difficult difficult year. But um, you know uh, uh, it. I just go day by day and step by step and uh, I work hard to, to try to come back on the top like I have been. While Aravan works her way back up the rankings, we have a second double semi-final on center court right now. Now serving in the near court is the French team, featuring Pauline Parmentier serving and her partner Alize Cornet at the net. Receiving in the far court is Irina Camelia Begu from Romania and her partner Ipek Shinoglu from Turkey at the net. Now serving from the far court is Ipek Shinoglu with her partner Irina Camelia Begu at the net.
I'm here right now with the winners of that match, Alizé Cornet and Pauline Parmentier. Uh, pretty tough match out there uh, this late at night, out in the heat. Yeah, it was a difficult match, but we make uh, what we have to do and uh, we play good today. Yeah, we had a lot of fun and, uh, and we play actually very good, uh, better and better every day. So uh, we really hope to do a good job tomorrow too. Well, you guys have had a terrific tournament so far, but you know, in the past, you guys have only played together three times, and the yeah. last time was 2009 at Wimbledon. Yeah. What, took, what took so long for you guys to get back together? I don't know, maybe because we thought that we wouldn't play good together because we had pretty bad experience yeah. before. But so finally we just signed in because we wanted to have fun together, and finally it's working great, yeah. so I don't know. It's friendly. <laughs> yeah, we're very <laughs> friends, so it's working. <laughs> Well, up tomorrow you're up against a team that just got together at this event. So you really don't have any, have you watched any of their matches at all? Not really. No, we know both of them. Brian Tickerstel, that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, they're a very good single player. And uh, yeah, I think they can play good together too. And they're in the final. So I think it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's not chance. It's because they deserve it. So we're going to try to do the same. I mean, it's, we are playing better and better. So there is no reason we don't win tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be a good match. Well, it's been a long week here in Texas, and the only thing left for tomorrow are the finals. And Sarana, you're in the doubles final tomorrow. Yes, I am. I was really, really surprised to to be actually to be playing so well here in doubles, and uh, I, I just had so much fun with my partner. And as you can see, we are in the finals, so we are really excited, and we hope to make the best out of it tomorrow. Well, I hope you do too, because you guys have it's a great story that you um, on the airplane decided to do it and everything. So yes. uh, well. <laughs> That'll wrap up my coverage, since it's only finals tomorrow, TV will be covering that. So that wraps up my coverage from the Texas Tennis Open. I'll see you next time with more tennis. Outside the lines.